Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will go over the latest breakthroughs in space exploration. The James Webb Space Telescope is set to become fully operational soon. We will be covering some of the salient aspects of the telescope and what it means for the future of space exploration. Before we dive deep in today's video, make sure to hit that like button. If you would like more coverage on space technology and events, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified for our latest uploads. Now, let's get into the video. For those of you who don't know, the James Webb Space Telescope is a highly advanced, next-generation infrared telescope launched into space at the end of 2021. The telescope was sent to identify objects that the Hubble Space Telescope could not capture efficiently. Fortunately, the telescope only weighs about half of the Hubble, making it more suitable for the environment in space. In addition, the telescope orbits around 900,000 miles away from the Earth's orbit putting it far beyond the reach of the Hubble Space Telescope, which operates just 340 miles above the Earth's orbit. NASA has identified four key objectives for the telescope, namely, identify the first stars and galaxies that were formed right after the Big Bang, research the creation and evolution of various galaxies, shed light on the formation of planets and stars, and study planetary systems, such as the solar system, and investigate the most basic question of the origin of life. The telescope has five components that help it function in the manner it was intended as follows. NIRCAM, the near-infrared camera, performs the actual task of imagery with the help of 10 sensors. As the name suggests, this component helps the infrared observation and photography within a short wavelength. NIRSPEC, the near-infrared spectrograph, undertakes spectrography within the same boundaries as the NIRCAM. The NIRSPEC allows spectrography to be done in multiple resolutions suiting the research purpose and avoiding putting additional pressure on the telescope. MIRI, the mid-infrared instrument, has been built for both imagery and spectrography, with a larger wavelength than near-cam and near-spec. FGS, the fine guidance sensor, has been equipped to obtain highly precise and accurate imagery within the same wavelength as the near-cam and near-spec. NIRIS, the near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, have been added with specific objectives, exoplanet detection and spectroscopy, exoplanet characterization, and light detection. The NIRIS also functions in a short wavelength. The telescope is not fully operational as of yet. However, it has been launched into orbit and has been undergoing continuous monitoring and testing. The process of mirror alignment for the telescope began in January. The goal was to ensure that light bounces off the mirror properly so that stars and other celestial objects could be observed and photographed without shadows. The recent hype around the telescope was because this process of mirror alignment has been completed successfully as reported by NASA. The organization also released a few captured images of the large Magellanic Cloud as observed by all five different components from different viewpoints. A comparison between the images taken by the James Webb Telescope and other telescopes, such as Spitzer, easily showcases James Webb's superiority. To put it into perspective for all YouTube viewers, if we were to take other telescope images as 360p, James Webb provides a resolution of 1080p HD. The quality of the images, especially the ones captured by MIRI, has made waves among astronomers and space explorers all around the world. People were also quick to point out the major difference between the images of the FGS and that captured by VISTA a few years back. For the telescope to commence operations, all that is left is to calibrate the various components of the telescope and test whether data is being transmitted accurately. NASA has estimated that the process will take until June and that the first official images from the telescope can be expected in July. There is, however, a slight uncertainty in testing the telescope. Ground-level tests were always limited by gravity. The telescope is sensitive to gravity and its lack thereof, and hence there could be some turbulence while capturing imagery from zero gravity in space. Astronomers are quite excited about the telescope as it would mean high-resolution imagery of both existing and new objects in space. The telescope can also help in the early detection of asteroids, meteors, comets, and much more. This also means the Hubble Space Telescope can be retired soon. And that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on this next-generation space telescope? Will it be successful in its mission? What do you think it means for the future of space exploration? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos on your favorite technology news. Thanks for watching.